guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four, and we are about to enter our fifth year of homeschooling. Today, I am going to take you through, because we finally, we finally have all of the pieces. I'm gonna take you through planning our entire homeschool year. Before we go any further, guys, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I have been putting off making this video because I like to have all of the things in my hands, and I am going to cut over and down shoot and show you. I like to take notes, write it out, do all the things, but this is just going to be the first in like a... This is just going to be the first in like a um, maybe six part series that is all taking place probably today because once you start going on this planning thing, it just is snowballs and it's nice once you have it all out to go ahead and do it. So this specific video will be about planning our entire homeschool year and how I do that. Coming up will be everything we're using for fourth grade, everything we're using for kindergarten, planning out our fourth grade day and planning out our kindergarten day, what our flow for each day will look like. Eventually, probably right before we actually start sharing our homeschooling, we will share organizing all of the homeschooling things because as you will see, it's a lot of stuff. So this video is going to be planning your homeschool year um, and we're just gonna, we're gonna jump right into it, guys. I'm so excited, I'm so excited that we finally have all the things. Hey friends. Okay, let me get comfortable in this chair here. Um, I'm so excited to get started right here. I've got the remnants of an iced coffee. I am ready. I'm so excited. I'll probably be switching because I've got another tripod right here. I'll probably be switching between the two down shots and face shots of me. Okay. So I've got what I think is everything I need. My goal, my very first goal, here with this day is to plan out my year. Now, I know that, I'm gonna show you guys this thing. I have started doing uh, digital planning through OneNote and I'm doing that because I can go in and do, um, because I can go in and do it through my phone, which is Android, my iPad, which is Apple, and then my PC desktop. So it's been pretty awesome. Now, okay, here we go. Let's look at this. See if I can pull this up full screen here. Now, I have a full year laid out in my digital planner. Now, I know that most all, you know what, let me, let me, let me back this up. You guys know a while back I made, um, I made like a digital, or I went onto the Timberdoodle online scheduler and made schedules. And I told you that I would come back and like perfect this later. Well, I've got my schedules, I've got my handbooks, um, and the schedules have the things that are not part of the handbook because I'm using a lot of things that aren't Timberdoodle. Um, so going back in, you know that. I think I figured out that both, so Mazdas has um, like 30 weeks of official lessons, but then it has like a whole poetry unit, which is new. And then Spelling UC has 36 weeks, but I don't plan to do all of them. And then um, Texas, uh, the Texas History Through Studies Weekly is 32. So almost everything is 30. A couple things are more, but I'm gonna stick with 32. So I like the idea of 32. 32 is a nice even number. So what I wanna do is I just kinda wanna back up and plan out my year. Now I know some things are really important to me. One, our dance life is always crazy in May. I'd like to be done by early May. I like to take off a bulk of December. I know we've got vacations in the spring, vacations in the fall. These are things that I know are important to me. So then basically what I do is I just work backwards. Like I know I need to fit in 32 weeks of school, right? So let me come on over here and I'm gonna just pop into a highlighter and then zoom it out. So I know that I would like to get through 
because it's 32, nice even number, I'd like to get through 16 weeks in the fall, 16 weeks in the spring, and be done. And I think I already went through and kind of mapped this out. So if I come in here and we start the first week of August, I've got one, two, three, four, and then this would be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve weeks before I know for a fact we would be gone on a two week vacation. So that's twelve. Once we get back from our vacation, it's not two weeks, but it like spans two weeks. So it's like a weird kind of thing. So that's twelve. 13, 14, of course we're not gonna do schoolwork the week of Thanksgiving. And then the first week of December is 15 and the first full week of December will be 16. And that means that we will then, so if we start the first full week of August, that looks like we would be starting, pulling my pencil in here so you guys can see everything here. Okay, so August 3rd, looks like our start date. We will be off 10, 25 through 11, seven, and then also off again, 11, 22 through 11, 28. And then the week of uh, December 6th should be our last week and this will split split our week exactly in half okay so then we should be off 12 13 through now the good thing about this is if i need an extra week for whatever reason if i need to skip another week if i just need to catch up or do a little more i can extend a little bit more into december without uh running into our spring so it looks like we would be off through 1 to 22. Now if I come in, let's see if we start this week, there's 1, 2, 3, 4 weeks in January, 5, 6 weeks before I know that, um, here let me put restart, 1, 4, and then I'll come in here and we're gonna be off again to 14 through to 27. I don't know that those are the exact dates of the vacation, but I know that I wanna take a kind of a big trip in the spring. So we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six before we take a big vacation. There's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and then 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now I might likely take another week off in March because we've got a big birthday in there. Um, and then just push it another week into May, but I can always fudge that and play with that up when we restart. So that is not a big deal to me, 228, and then just go straight through to five, eight, see that's kind of a big thing. I'll probably take off another week somewhere in there. Um, and then we're, uh, we're all finished. We will be finished either five, seven or five, 14 if I add another week off in there, which I probably will because we could have the time and availability. But like I said, you guys know that we have a big dance at the end of the year and so that is, um, something I just like to be off for. So that right now is the tentative plan for the full and complete school year. That is how we will work this. I think it's uh, really good, it's really flexible, it's really easy. So here I have my notes, start August 3rd, and then we will wrap up first or second week of May. Uh, it should be really easy and agreeable. Now, from here, we're gonna pop over into So that is it for how I plan my full school year. And like, it, just get out a calendar, get out a highlighter, know um, if you have any tentative ideas, if you know you wanna take some time off. Now don't forget, we are gonna be doing, we did, we normally, I like to do like a 30 week schedule, but we do five days a week. So we're gonna do a 32 week schedule, but only do four days a week. So that means we just have to make it fit, okay? So the next step in my planning process will be, to pop right over and figure out 
what all I need to get into our daily flow. I'll be right back with that. Guys, I hope that you found any of that helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. For those of you who have stayed through the end, we just got back. We were in DC last week and it was so fun and it was pretty amazing and wonderful to be able to take the kids to see some things they just learned about in history to really have a great time. But I was so excited to get back and find that the very last piece, the very last piece of our curriculum was waiting on us. And now I can jump into this because I feel like I've just been putting off, just waiting and waiting and waiting and hoping and hoping and hoping that this would come. And I really do want to start soon. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited that this is here. I'm so excited that this is finally here. I feel like it's real. Yay! Homeschool. Homeschool planning is the best. 